Hey guys, I'm alone in my office today, so I'm going to make a little video um, just showing you a thing that I use for certain, you know, workings. It's mostly to carve things into candles, and um, I've never seen anybody else talk about using them, but they're super fucking cool and easy, and I love it. So, eh, I can't find my pen. All right, so first what I do, damn it, I'm dropping everything and being ridiculous today. So first what I do is take any, this is like a fine tip marker, but it doesn't have to be. You can use a big fat tip marker, crayon, grease pencil, whatever. And I write on the dollar store candle or whatever it is uh, that you're going to use, whatever kind of candle. You can use a super magical fancy candle. This doesn't work too well on um, chime candles. Um, oh. I don't know. I haven't tried it in a while with this new thing that I have. Um, but it definitely works on tapers and pillars and whatever else, votives. Uh, so I write what I'm going to be intending on it. And so what I have here is the word new. And I'm going to write job. And I'm only going to show you this because I don't want to show you my new my job or money sigils or whatever. Because they're brand new. Um, sigils that I've like retired or whatever I might show in other videos. Or ones that I use all the time that, fuck you, I don't care. So what these are, are they're called, they're made by Speedball. And what they are for is to carve stamps. You can carve your own stamps if you want to, whether or not you know that or not. And it comes with, uh, where is it, all of these different like attachments some are like wider they're like scoops some are more like a knife an exacto knife um this one is like a weird curvy kind of thing to it anyway so i mostly use this one the knife and then this one which is like a little where's the freaking camera it's like a little thin scoop so what I do, you can't see where I wrote new job exactly because uh, it's kind of, I don't know, small. Uh, so then what I do is I kind of, you can either just carve right into it. But this one, this one's a little brutal. Like it like is legit and carves it out. Like see, that doesn't even, you can't see it. Damn it, I should have brought a different candle. Um, so the end is pretty insane. Uh, but this one, it's you scoop it, you slide it. I find this one to be much easier. Comes out on a little ribbon like that. You keep going and going and going. E's are hard because they have a couple of different curves and segments. So I do it in different sections. And I'm gonna turn the camera around, I think in a minute and try to get you to see uh, the difference. Maybe it'll see the end man it doesn't work see the end there is kind of brutal but the e it's kind of dug out like normal so i'll probably just have to live with that end um and then finish the rest you know w's are cool because it's like up 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 and you've got a w so then what i do um and other people might think this is ridiculous or insane but I would take paint or nail polish. It's usually nail polish because <laughs> I have more colors of nail polish than paint because you need to do it with like a brush, uh, so to speak, not more so than like spray paint or, or some other kind of paint. And then like take a thin brush and like put it into the letters. So this one I will do green. I will do all the letters and the sigil, the symbols and whatever else I put on here um, in green uh, for money, for prosperity, for whatever. And then, um, if any gets on the outside of the candle, on the outside of the grooves, which happens every time, I will take a wet washcloth and kind of, you know, wash it off. Um, I wish I had nail polish or something here that I could um, show you, but maybe I'll post an after video uh, somewhere also. Um, but yeah, so that's how I mark my candles. I mean, I still anoint them and do stuff with oils and roll, roll them. Like this one, I'll probably roll in dried um, basil. 
uh, which is a money thing for me. It's a money herb for me. So, um, yeah, that's how I do it. And I think it's super amazing and rad. And I think it's way easier than the skewer or a knife or toothpick or whatever other people um, have. I've seen videos of people using in the past on how to uh, mark a candle. Um, of course, there's a tried and true of just doing it with your finger or doing it with oil or just painting on it, just writing on it. Um, but as you saw, just writing on it with a permanent marker, it didn't exactly work. So that's how I do it. Speedball, uh, rubber stamp, carving things. You know what else? It's twofold. If you buy something like this, you end up being able to carve into candles. You can carve your own rubber stamps. I've made a, a rubber stamp sigil for a couple things. Um, and all you do is buy like those big blocks of old pink erasers and carve it right into that. So that's how you do it. Um, there's plenty of tutorials online on how to do those, but just thought I'd show you a different use for a craft item and a magical magic. So I managed to scrounge up some green uh, paint here at work. Um, it's a museum. We do have children's programs and stuff, and sometimes it involves art. Um, and here's how it ends up. I didn't go with the sigil because I just was here and yeah. So they end up like this. I have new job, higher salary, freedom, abundance, security, and peace. Um, because were I to get myself a fancy new job, uh, that would be the end result. It's just peace, freedom, security. Um, but it went with the specifics of new job, higher salary, um, because, um, I want to be specific in some requests because I'm not just asking for money to come to me. I mean, that would be fantastic if I won the lottery or some something, but also I don't want it to be someone that I love pass away and I inherit money. I don't want that. Um, so I'm not asking for a general large amount of money. I do. I, I do genuinely want a new uh, job with higher salary. Um, so I can better support my family and uh, so that's how it goes using uh, these tools these carving tools that are you made they're made for rubber stamps um, but I use them for candles and rubber stamps and then you use the paint and then wipe off the excess so it fills the lines um, if you write in runes if you write in some other form of um, language or something that you would like to use I mean it's your spell it's your candle it's your thing do with what you want uh, I'm gonna start lighting this right now even though I'm not supposed to at work but no one else is here so who cares all right for every witch rage out